Another thing in the grid mode you can do is you can set the size of the grid with the column width. So if you want to have, say, uh, your columns be a little bit bigger, you can just increase that size. The great thing about the, the grid is that it figures out, uh, based on the column width and the gutter width, what the entire grid width is going to be. So if you want your columns to be 30 pixels, which is this gray area, you might want to make your gutter width a little bit smaller. So instead of 20 pixels, let's put this down to 10. You can see now that our grid width is actually set to 950 pixels. If we go to the wrapper, we can also add the vertical padding. So we can change the vertical padding, which is up here, if we want it to be all the way to the top of the grid, or top of the wrapper, rather, we can just get rid of the wrapper vertical padding. And on the horizontal padding, if we didn't want the extra padding here on the side, we can just get rid of that too. So right now it's set to 15 pixels, which means there's 15 pixels on the left and 15 pixels on the right. We can move that down to 10 or 12 or whatever we want to have set. In this case, I'm going to do 5. So that gives us 10 pixels on each side. And then when we go to the grid, we know that our grid width is 950 pixels. So we have our wrapper set to 960 pixels wide. When we're ready, we just save it. And again, we can view our site. And we've got everything that we need to go.